Hello, hello, my name is Orkshi and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to grind echoes in what I think to be a pretty effective manner. So let me just close this real quick. And the gist is, uh, there's, there's a few things you need. And by a few things, I mean one thing. You need to have the uh, trial of one start. So if you don't have it, you can't really do this method. So you need to have the lone warrior start. Or if you'd want, you just go to ministry and do the trial of one anyway. Uh, the whole thing is that this is a build that you don't care about. You don't care about the build, you don't care about anything, right? So um, you have all of these modifiers. Uh, you put all the modifiers on. Don't care about high velocity. Don't care about iron Vulcan. Don't care about loose change. You don't care about deal breaker. Uh, slow burn, it doesn't really matter. Hollow, doesn't really matter. Dissonant, doesn't really matter. Deep champion, doesn't even matter. And uh, crestfallen, doesn't even matter, right? So you could have these and put a 2.3 times modifier. And if you were insanely crazy, you could even put Fragile Heart on. But that would make the trial harder, and you don't really want to do that because then you're not really getting many echoes anyway. But a 2.3 modifier isn't bad at all. Now, I don't think that Dissonant should affect what you heal. But we'll, we'll see. We will see. Um, actually, we will turn off Dissonant. Just to make sure, right? Um, and a two times modifier is completely okay. All these other modifiers are okay. And uh, what you want to do is uh, go whatever thing you want. I'm going to go Flame Charm because it makes it easier for angels. So if I get a, a flame, then I can just, you know, uh, set one on fire and then I'll be good. And then I'll go Heavy as well. And then my core attributes, you could put whatever. I'm going to put mostly into Fortitude and the secondary into Willpower. And then, and then this will be my build. And then you start in the trial of one, which I'm going to do. And it's very simple. You go to trial of one, put all these modifiers on, go as far as you can, it, uh, you know, go as far as you can, and then wipe the build and then repeat. And since you're hollow and since you're incident, you should just die as soon as you go into the depths. You don't go in the depths, just kill yourself, and then come back, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And then it's a good way to grind echoes. Now, um, what are the ways to gain echoes in this game? There's a few different ways, right? Uh, powering up gives one echo all the way up to 15. So once you power, I believe, 16, you get 15 echoes just for existing. Uh, getting an oath gives you five echoes, which I want to reiterate that if you, if you make it out of the trial and you finish your trial, then you can, once you leave Ministria, uh, immediately get the Jet Striker Oath. Just grab it. Uh, level up your agility if you'd like to level your agility to 50 in the trial get out do the little test get your jet striker oath and then kill yourself and then that's five more echoes and then with this two-time mod modifier with the levels you got there'll be 12 echoes which go to like maybe uh in the 20s for something a, a very low amount of time so we will i will uh get as far as i can in this trial uh don't make fun of me at all uh but uh, i'll get as far as i can and then just show you how many echoes you get, really. Because I think this would be a very good farming method for echoes. I don't really see a big uh, problem with it at all. So uh, let's hope this doesn't cause me many issues at all. I've been trying to get better at the trial, but, um, you know, what can you really do besides uh, try? So for these, I'm just going to hold F as this part goes down. Before that, it's not really that much of an issue. And there we go. Now, it, it does heal me to full. All right, so after every trial, I'm healed to full. So it really shouldn't be that much of an issue. I'm going to level my fortitude up just to have me a better chance of existing here. And then we're going to fight a Sharko. I hate that he moves all the time. Most important thing here is to just dodge the kick. And after that, you should be set. You don't really need to parry both of these. There we go, he's dead. And then uh, I could, quite frankly, level up my, my weapons. I'm not too sure to quote me in this. 
if it even helps to level up your weapons. Like, if it gives you the same amount of points anyway. But, uh, quite frankly, I don't think I care. So, I love my fortitude up to 20. Get my power up. And then your build doesn't really matter, right? So, you just want to worry about things that will help you in here. So, you know, as much health as possible. I'll get fishmen. Hopefully, I get breathing exercise again. And then... Flame grab is fine. And then just health. Because all this is what you want to do is to get you things to help you during the trial. Right? This is a, a short-term build. You're not really worried about, oh, am I going to survive? For this laser, it's my big problem for me. You just go behind him. That was a little mess up for me. You just hold F. You keep pressing S for this. Should be able to sneak in one hit here. There we go. So this one's really been much of an issue. You just have to keep going. I took a few hits there, but it's not really an issue. There we go, he's dead. And then next up should be either a Thresher or Angels. I believe it's Thresher. So let's get my fortitude up. Uh, because I'm just getting my fortitude and not worrying about agility because I don't think I'm going to beat the trial. I've uh, never beaten the trial before, so I don't think it's going to start now. For Thresher, I really just... Try to dodge that tail whip. Dodge this. And just keep moving backwards. And if you ulti, you need block. But other than that, Thresher's not that hard if you just keep moving backwards. And then that's the most important thing to roll out of. Because I'm not too comfortable with the timing of that. And for that, it's just a 1, 2, 3 there. See, I should have rolled there. One, two, three. See, so you're a little close there because I, I got a little too cocky. But other than that, uh, it should be pretty good just to keep bumping up my fortitude, just to get, make me live in the trial. Because you're not worried about your build after, right? You're not worried about your build. Um, what do you worry about here? I can still take uproar. That's like the, the best thing that could help us right now. Ready or not, I believe, would be the most thing that'll help us right now. So we're just worried about what will help us right now. And breathing exercise, that's five more health that'll help us. And then, of course, more health. And what really helps is uh, having the natural armor here. And then we will bump 42 to up even more. And we're here to fight angels. So for angels, I like to uh, stay here and then wait for them to spawn. Keep pressing the wrong key there. Went to flame grab. That was really bad on my part. I'm just gonna flame grab this guy. Hoping to sit on fire, but unfortunately it didn't.
Oh, there I go. All right, so that's as far as I made it in the trial. But I get power three, so that's two. And I've only been here for, what, 10 minutes? Half of that being explained. If you get further in the trial, the more that you will get out of it, right? So, um, you usually can get a few more powers up, and especially if you go non-attunementless. Uh, flame grab wasn't the play there, because uh, I, I thought I could proc fire at him. I probably should have took Flaming Servants, because uh, that's the one that messes me up the most, is the Angels. But uh, that's completely fine. Uh, we're, so we'll just die here, and hope you just don't go to layer 2. Alright, so this is something that may happen. You might go to layer 2, and if so, that kind of sucks. Um, what you could try to do is instead is get yourself combat logged, get yourself in combat and just log, and just come back, and you should be in Fragment of Self. But in this case, I take my chances just to jump off because... I like taking the chance if that's faster, but in this case, the loading screen every that makes it slower. Also, if it's your first time doing the trial and getting that stage, the text on the screen will also mess you up and make it slower as well. So ultimately, it depends on how fast you are in the trial and how fast, uh, and just hoping not to get layer two, because uh, cause this definitely slows you down a, a great deal, right? So I'm going to just kill myself here because it should not have taken this long. And bam, we're dead. So with all these modifiers and everything, we should get, I believe, four echoes. Now that's not really all that much, right? But it's not really all that much of your time. And if you get further in the trial, if you get further in the trial than I did, then that's not that bad at all, right? Four echoes for however much of your time. Um, because you usually could get on your full build maybe 50 echoes, right? But that takes a few hours of your time, right? And you're also leveling your build. So if you if you just want to farm echoes, this is, I believe, 100% faster than any other way. Um, unless you play with a lot of modifiers, then that may, you know, make it better for you. But it ultimately is dependent on how well you do in the trial. Now, I didn't do all that well, so I'm gonna give them any echoes. Depends on how much you power up. So even even power four or power five, power five, that would bring me all the way up to what? Eight echoes? Eight echoes for that is not bad at all. And if you beat the trial, you get another five echoes for getting an oath if you put your points in agility and get Jet Striker. So that is uh, my method at least for farming echoes. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm out. If you have anything else to, or anything better to farm echoes, please do tell me. Uh, I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Otherwise, I'm out. Goodbye.